What's happening? Crypto fam, happy, happy Thursday. Good morning and welcome back to Love for Crypto. I'm Scott. It's a pleasure to have you here. I appreciate you taking the time out to consume the content. So thank you. This morning we're going to cover Cardano bridging the gap to China by teaming up with Nervos Blockchain. Oh yes, bringing interoperability, baby. <clears throat> Chinese public blockchain Nervos and blockchain engineers IOHK are teaming up to create a cross-chain bridge to connect Cardano and Nervos networks. The move represents Cardano's first bridge into connecting two ecosystems worth billions of dollars. It furthers Nervos and Cardano's shared goal of finding the blockchain industry's Bluetooth moment where users have a seamless experience when using blockchain networks regardless of which chain they are using. The bridge will allow users to transact with Nervos and Cardano's native currencies at CKB and ADA respectively, as well as create their own tokens across both blockchains which is done through a technique called token wrapping. Anyone who's a little bit familiar with a little bit of DeFi yield farming wrapped bitcoin wrapped e wrapped bullshit you're gonna get or you're at least a little you're gonna understand a little bit what they mean when they seem wrapped it will also enable developers from both chains to access services and features to expand their decentralized applications dApps and user bases through the bridge, developers using the Nervos platform will have access to IOHK's industry-leading token solution for Cardano, as well as DeFi apps built on top of Pluto smart contracts and other features deployed through sidechains and state channels on Cardano. The token wrapping will be done through Cardano's native token technology and Nervos Nervos's UDT technology, which removed the complexity, cost, and efficiency, inefficiency, I should I say, of maintaining specific smart contract logic to implement tokens. In addition to those efficiencies, the removal of the need for custom code to be written also removes the possibility of human error, which has the potential to cause huge huge losses like the industry saw in 2017 when software bugs led to the loss of 300 million worth of ethereum's cryptocurrency 300 million worth just lost me the bridge will also enable users to create assets which enjoy all the operational benefits of ADAR, allowing projects to access the blockchain's market leading levels of speed and security with no prohibitive costs interesting indeed so collaboration is what it's all about in it all these blockchains need to come together this is the latest project <coughs> excuse me in an existing collaboration between nervos and iohk the two public blockchain ecosystems announced in december that they would co-author research papers on improvements to the utxo model future open source developments and explore the creation of a universal standard for the accounting method. Similar to how the internet was built from the interconnection of extranets themselves interconnecting intranets, we believe that blockchain will achieve mass adoption by interconnecting public blockchain networks. Hence, end users are not locked into one particular network or standard and can seamlessly access value and utility regardless of which underlying blockchain network they are using. Sounds like what we've said all along, don't it? Internet of value, being able to send money anywhere to anyone, anything of value, being able to just be moved seamlessly, frictionlessly, friction free transactions. That's what we need. And it's what W3C say, where there'll be no payments in the future. It will be that seamless and that frictionless. Making a payment, it will you will not make the payment. It will not feel like you're making a payment. Just like sending a WhatsApp message doesn't feel like writing a letter, but you've sent a letter. 
<laughs> you sent a correspondence through WhatsApp. It might not have felt like he was typing, a he was writing a letter, but you typed it. It might have only been one sentence, but it was a correspondence. It was a letter sent to another person through WhatsApp. It'll be the same with payments. At the moment, you, you, you're handing the money over. You're taking the money to the... You're sending it through the bank. It's, it's similar as you needing the post office, needing the post office to send the letter. Now you don't need the post office to send the letter. Doesn't even feel like you're sending letters. There are no fucking letters coming out of this phone, but there is. Same with payments down the line. Make no mistake. As a result, bridges are not are not just a necessity in order to ensure that users have seamless experience, but will become the norm, allowing underlining blockchains to fade into the background as a transport layer. By connecting blockchain communities and finding innovative ways to work together as we have been doing with Nervos, we can ensure that blockchain lives up to its promise of creating a fairer and more efficient global financial uh, operating system. Meanwhile, Nervo's co-founder, Kevin Wang, said Chainlink Bridge would advance the entire network. Creating a bridge to link the Nervos network and the Cardano is especially exciting given the relationship we already have with IOHK. We've been growing our research and development partnership, but we now have a tangible bridge that will also showcase the power of the force bridge and push us further along the road to functional interoperable network. Mouse Belt, a full service blockchain accelerator, will contribute to build the bridge with financial support in the form of a grant from Nervos. The Cardano team will contribute its expertise and resources to connect Cardano to the bridge. Work has commenced and the bridge is expected to be completed this summer. Big things happening this summer. All it really is then, for me, is adding bridge after bridge after bridge. We know XRP can be used to bridge other, other networks to other networks. Some are gonna create their own. Some will use one that already exists. So un unknown, undoubtedly going to have to give people the option. Excuse me. So no doubt some platforms, will, some platforms will be like, right, do you want to use this bridge? That bridge, that bridge, that bridge, that bridge. Which one do you actually want to use? In which currency do you want to, do you want to send the value in? Or which asset do you want to send the value in? Blah, 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 blah. But this is how we get to the place that we always spoke about. This is how we get to an, a sustainable, functional and fair internet of value that anyone can use. Sending anything of value to anywhere else in the world. And again, we've spoke about it before. It's obviously the digital assets go straight away. If you send in the value of gold... You can send the ownership of the value instantly through a blockchain and then the actual gold is moved logistically to wherever the new owner wants that gold storing. Sending value and ownership anywhere. Tracking, tracing, it's all just the beginning. And it absolutely amazes me how many people still question it. Um, if you just ignored the FUD articles and did a little bit of fundamental research, looked into pending payments, looked into double spending, looked into actual fiat currency and the fact that it's just debt and IOUs that they'll never pay. If you just do a bit of the fundamental research, then it's, it's a no-brainer. It's an absolute no-brainer. If you don't do the fundamental research yourself and you trust nothing but articles, you're going to be... 
you're going to have so much FUD rubbed in your face, then it is going to be hard to take some of the currencies seriously. It will be hard to take most of them seriously. But the main thing is getting in the space, investing in the internet of value, investing in yourself, get some fucking value on Cardano Daedalus Wallet, get it staked. The more the merrier, excuse me, the more you can put on the better, but even if you just put a little bit in, there's no saying what the token's going to be worth in the future. There's no saying what the rewards will be worth in the future. And it's rewards for nothing. There's no going on and having to click this, that, that every day and having to do this, that and that. You literally just stake it and it's done. So I advise you do it. Invest in yourself. Invest in the internet of value. Live long and hodl the absolute lot until you're ready to let it go. And like we said before, ideally you won't let it go if you do the staking the right way. In the end, you won't be selling your bags. You'll be living off the rewards that come from your bags. Yeah? It's a no-brainer. Dollar cost average over time, guys. Yeah, wishing health and happiness to you and yours. We love crypto. We love Cardano. And we love you. So take care of yourself and I will see you on the next one. Peace.